All right, they want us to find the value of x here, and all they tell us is that this line and this line is perpendicular, so we can add in a little right angle there, and these two lines are perpendicular, so we can add in a right angle there, and they tell us that fg is 25. Well, that means that if we were to just look at half of that, fp here, that should be 12 and a half. So we could write that, that this is 12 and a half, because this is 25. And over here, this whole thing is 28. So that means that this would be 14. And now, what we don't have, but we can just add in, are these lines here and here, and that's the radius. And those have to be congruent, because they're both the same radii of, of the same circle. So, well, let's think about this now. We know that OP is 19, and we have OP 19, this is 12.5, so we could find R by using the Pythagorean theorem, and then if we found R, we could plug it into here, and we could work backwards and find X by also using the Pythagorean theorem. So let's do it. 12.5 squared plus 19 squared has to equal the radius squared. And so 12 and a half squared is 156.25. And then 19 squared is 361. And so we can add those together. 361 plus 156.25 is going to equal 517.25. So that's our r squared, which means that r is just the square root of that. And that's going to be some weird number, but let's not even worry about that. Let's just leave it like that for now because now I'm going to plug it in to this triangle. So I have x squared plus 14 squared has to equal r squared, which this is r, so that'll be easy to write. So let's do that. So I have that x squared plus 14 squared equals r squared, which is the square root of 517.25. And then that's squared, well that's just going to have these two things kind of cancel each other out. So now I have 517.25, and 14 squared is 196, and x squared. So I'm going to subtract 196 from both sides, and we get 321.25. And now I'm going to take the square root, and so x equals the square root of 321.25 which is about 17.9. And there's our answer, x equals 17.9. There you go. Just using Pythagorean theorem twice. That's all this is.